before the Carnegie Stout Public Library opened its doors in 1902. It had already acquired several pieces of art. While the library is no longer actively collecting art, in an effort to preserve this connection, Carnegie Stout hosts art shows throughout the year to feature talented artists. My name is Nick Rossman, the Library Director for Carnegie Stout, and I'd like to invite you to enjoy taking the next few moments to learn about our current installation and featured artists. Hi, I'm Pamela Hyatt, and I'm here at Carnegie Stout Public Library, where my artwork is is on display until March 22nd and you'll see from my work that I really love flowers and I love still life. This painting was done on Hayes Mill Road where I've seen this birch tree many times as I pass and I caught it in the autumn when the colors were coming out and I just love the color of nature in this. These paintings were done at the Arboretum where you can see that I just, I love flowers and I love going to the Arboretum because there's just endless possibilities of things to paint there. This painting was done in my studio. As you can see, um, I love the, the effect of light coming out of the darkness in my still lifes. I really love doing still lifes and I love the whole drama of the light. Here's some more of my paintings that um, are mostly florals. I really love different kinds of flowers. The rose painting was done at the Arboretum. With this, I just found this perfect peach rose. I had to paint that. And I also like to set up um, still lifes in my home of flowers to do in vases and such. So stop in during regular library hours and come up to second floor to see my artwork displayed until March 22nd. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Stephanie Funky, and I'm an artist from Manchester. I want to express my appreciation, my gratitude toward all of the library staff for this opportunity to have my exhibit. The artwork that I have in this collection is really all a part of the Zentangle art method. And using Zentangle to create beautiful pieces, we use a pattern and we repeat that pattern multiple times to come up with something on paper that is unique and easy to create. A lot of the pieces in this particular exhibit have geometric patterns that are probably easily visible as we move around and look at a few pieces. So as a part of the Zentangle practice, you repeat a pattern and that's visible in these two pieces where I used a circle or an orb, multiple circles, and then place them one on top of the other in varying degrees and then rounded the edges. A very simple technique but it's easy to see the pattern that repeats. So another thing that you're going to see in my pieces in this show there are a lot that have repetitive lines and repeating geometric patterns. This particular pattern we call paradox. It's quite interesting and quite fun to use. I have it in multiple pieces. So I referenced earlier the pattern paradox and I've used it in this piece in the center. I've used it in these two pieces as well. Some are small and some are large, but nevertheless, it's the same repeating pattern. So another pattern that you can see that's visible in this piece is what appears to be a crescent moon. And the crescent moon moves around the page as if it's alive and like a kite. And inside each of the crescent moon has a particular pattern. In, in addition to geometric patterns, I really enjoy using floral motifs and um, you can see in this particular piece, the petals, there are three different styles that are repeated as you move around the flower. 